I got pulled over. It doesn't seem to matter whether you're uh, following all the rules or not. It still makes your heart go a little quicker. But anyway, got pulled over. Cherries came on behind me. And right away, I'm like, oh, I know what it is. close to one of the busiest stretches of highway in all of North America right here in uh, southern Ontario close to Toronto this here we're just getting close to Vaughan here right now I call it all Toronto that offends some of the people that live here though because they uh, they make quite a distinction between one city and the next to me it's just it seems like one big old city so I just call it all Toronto uh, but anyway I know some people that live around here one lives in Oshawa and she's distinctly telling me it's Oshawa not Toronto <laughs> Anyway, here's Canada's Wonderland, great big theme park. When they built this, uh, it was kind of in the middle of nowhere. And I remember thinking it was an odd place for a theme park because it was out in a field. Anyway, now you can see it's clearly not in the field anymore. This is uh, surrounded with city now. It's, uh, it just keeps growing and growing and growing. It's crazy how many people live here. I'm not even sure, actually, millions. But busy, busy chunk of highway. 
Uh, this here looks like they're making expansion again. We just went through a little chunk that looked like it was going to be six lanes both directions. And I believe the 401 is six lanes in both directions. I can't remember. It's been a few years since I've driven on there. And then they also have the 407, which is quite the highway too. So, yeah, lots going on. Lots of people moving. With coronavirus, I'm sure that's died down some. And it won't be quite as busy as it was. Here's your, uh, your rides. There's all sorts of amusement stuff here in Canada's Wonderland. I have not been there since I was 14, I think. I, I was only there once, and uh, I believe I was 14 years old. It's, it's quite a few years ago. But they got all sorts of roller coasters and different, different rides. If that's what you're into, we tend to stay away from that now. It seems like kind of a waste of money, but it is uh, it can be fun, I suppose. So, apparently we got pulled over again. This is round two. The uh, the lack of the license plate is catching on, I guess. Anyway, there's uh, not much I can do at this point, but hopefully this guy lets me off as well. So this trip would go a whole lot faster if I'd stop getting pulled over. That's the second time. Uh, oh, he's already got somebody else pulled over. That didn't take him very long. He's right up ahead of me there now. Anyway, uh, I got no license plate, so this guy noticed that again too. This time I have a picture of it at least, and he just sent me a picture of it license plate I showed it to him he didn't seem too concerned or interested at least it is licensed insured everything's good and um, my tail light plug I still haven't got that fixed I went to Canadian Tire to get a plug but it's a three-day wait I'm not sitting there for that long so anyway he's good he says hey you still got one side working but uh, you should probably get that fixed soon so we're back on the road again hopefully it's the last time I get pulled over today so here's a 407 there's one two three four five Six, two, four, seven. Well, one's an off here, but anyway, six lanes for sure of uh, traffic it is dead here today. It is a Saturday, I guess. Nobody's going to work, but uh, yeah, still very, very quiet. Anyway, six lanes, both directions. And I've seen, uh, maybe not the 407 so much. I don't usually use it, but I go on the 401, or I have in the past, and I've seen it just bumper to bumper from one end to the other. It's crazy. You know, a, a, an area that should take 20 minutes. I've sat waiting for an hour and a half, two hours before and stuff just crawling. You could get out and uh, walk around your car and stretch your legs and not miss nothing. So it's crazy how busy it can be. But uh, yeah, I don't know if it's because it's Saturday or because of coronavirus. The road's pretty dead here right now. Nothing going on. Emergency roadside repairs, eh? I got the plug changed and we are on the road again. <laughs> Lose a little bit of time anyway, but at least I got a legit plug on there again. Still seems to be a wiring issue, but we've got brake lights and flashers, so I'll have to investigate the rest later. I gotta get these piggies. 
Got the gravity bin all loaded up. Strapped down, she's been holding good. I'm at the next stop here now for the pigs. A little pig barn here. Having a hard time because of this COVID nonsense. Uh, it's hurting a lot, of, a lot of good people, a lot of good farm people. Can't get their produce out though, even though the people need to eat. Uh, it's just doing a lot more damage than good. So anyway, we're gonna load the piggies in the box. Got lots of bedding in there for them. And uh, just waiting for, for him to get the pigs, just bring them to the door. All right, we got the first two in there, cute little buggers. It's like uh, one barrow and one gilt. Hey guys. All right, six pickers. Very, very friendly. Little fellers. He's eating sawdust. <laughs> Two, four, six, eight. No, nope, four more to go. <laughs> now we actually started the YouTube channel a while back. So, you know, uh, these guys will be on here. Rain, 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 it's rainy. Got the duckies all loaded, you can hear them. Went pretty smooth, I guess. Had uh, Waylon here on the camera. Look at me, he looks so grumpy. There we go, we got a smile. He's on the camera filming for me. And now off to my last stop. I'm gonna get some corn, put it in the gravity wagon. Uh, and then we are ready to go home. So I'm not really happy with this rain. It's coming down a little harder here now. Hopefully that stops. I do have a tarp, like I said. But um, yeah, anyway. So this fella here, he's got himself a pretty good business going. He sells 4,800 birds a year. This year, he says he's going to be well over that. Uh, because of COVID, he's getting more calls. So, you know, there's uh, the last guy, the, the pig guy we talked to, he is being hurt by this COVID thing because the abattoirs are shut and that's on the larger scale. But on the smaller scale, people need to eat and they're sourcing food more locally uh, and from small guys, wherever they can. They're buying ducks, chickens. I heard that uh, Bullets Plus, which is a place I used to buy my layer hens from, uh, is sold out, or not sold out, yeah, basically you can't get them from there. A lot of hatcheries are sold out. Uh, places that sell seeds for gardens are getting sold out. So in that aspect, there's some good for the economy. And I really like the fact that people are going back to the ground, back to the earth, back to growing their own food. I like that. I think that's a step in the right direction. People know where their food comes from, as opposed to buying it always from these big box stores and uh, big industry farms, industrial farms. So, not saying that that's always bad either. There's, there's a place for everything. Uh, but I prefer to know where my food comes from and how it's raised. So anyway, cool to hear. This guy's got pretty good business going there. He's pretty happy with that and, and sells a pile of critters. And also, it's a promise for us in the future. I think there's there's hope there. There's, uh, there's something we can look forward to doing and producing. Uh, birds, which is something we wanted to do in Saskatchewan. We set up a few runs for that to get, get going for that, but the markets and the economy just were not favorable at all. So here in Ontario, we're hoping to be able to do a lot more of that market. Uh, the meat from uh, ducks, chickens, pigs, beef, lamb, goat, whatever, uh, but also live animal sales. 
uh, I think there's a place for that as well. So yeah, it's exciting. We've only been back for a little over a week, but um, already I see I see promise. I see some stuff in in Saskatchewan. We're just constantly banging our head against the wall trying to figure out what we can do that would work, and nothing seems going to go our way. So uh, still optimistic for the future. Oh, one other interesting note to add: the whole time I've had the pigs in here, I didn't smell a thing except sawdust. It's not good. I put the duckies in here and whoo, there's an odor now. She, uh, those duckies smell quite the right. Piggies are enjoying the ride. Earlier I looked in here when I were at the duck place and they were all laying down snoozing. Anyway, they're back on their feet now. They're all huddled up in the middle here sleeping. Cute little buggers. I'm not paying for that. <laughs> seating for next year. <laughs> so we're gonna go with three loader buckets. He's got that figured pretty good. They're about 330 kgs per bucket. So uh, saves me going over the scale when we do that route. So he raises veal in here, red veal. Uh, I've been doing that for, oh, I don't even know. I'd have to ask him again, but it's over 20 years. Got a whole whack of cattle in here. And uh, they just eat corn. Well, corn, there's pellets and minerals and everything else that they need is in there. Got a couple of beefers in here too. This big guy we were just talking about. I might be interested, I'm not sure yet. So anyway, nice little operation. They used to have uh, 500 babies, calves and hutches, which is what we're gonna start doing, uh, raising a few. But um, these are the finisher ends. These guys here are ready to go actually. This is as big as they go, 700 pounds-ish, and then, uh, then they go to market. backbone in my opinion of our economy is agriculture and uh, I think we need to show more support for that when uh, when agriculture goes and uh, that's not good the writings on the wall and there's a lot of farm families suffering here at this point his stuff is still going to market but he was just saying too if they close that plant then uh, well it won't be good there's only so many places to go with these animals. The people want to eat them, but if you, you cut off the supply chain, you cut off the middleman, then it's just not a good thing. Anyway, we are done. We are going to hit the road, I think, and uh, get on our way home. All loaded up, getting down the road. we got a uh, nice little load of corn on here. We didn't bother filling it all the way because some of it might bounce out. This will be lots for the piggies for... Uh, I don't know. It'll last them for quite a while. There's a little over a ton there, probably. Uh, I gotta say, I have trucked a lot of critters in a van in my day. Uh, various things. I mean, I've had a whole load of stinky bucks I brought down to the market, uh, down to the butcher plant one time, and uh, that was more enjoyable than trucking these ducks. This is awful. The stench that comes out of these things. Uh, I will be very, very glad to get home. I got three and a half hours of this smell. Uh, what do you think? Is it stink or what? Very much bad. Disgusting, he says. So we're driving with the windows cracked a little in the hope of getting some fresh air again. Um, we had them closed for a little bit on the farm and uh, oof, it's bad. Them pigs smell very, very nice in comparison. So anyway, that is it for tonight. I got a three and a half hour truck home. We'll, uh, we'll get there and get some of this stuff unloaded. 
and uh, yeah, begin beginnings of a new chapter and a new farming uh, venture again. Oh, wow, we've done we've done both, but anyway, it'll be a new chapter for us. So I hope you enjoyed the ride. Appreciate y'all coming along. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, if you're new to our channel, check it out. There's a bunch of different videos on different things, and we've got lots of new stuff coming along. Uh, we're going to be hunting for, for a farm, continuing to hunt for some land or a farm, and, uh, and growing that up and starting to uh, just you know, venture out to different critters in that area. So uh, if you haven't subscribed, consider doing so. And if you are subscribed, we just really appreciate your support. And yeah, we're so to carry on with us. So share it with anybody you think might like it and help us grow our channel. We, uh, we very much appreciate that. So we'll say goodbye for now. I'll talk to you later.